show for y'all. Got a damn good show. This white man just, just exposed white supremacy. <laughs> well, he actually did. Yeah, but you know how blacks suspend white supremacy. Yeah, but that I like. I believe in white supremacy, but mm -hmm. it's not how the left pushes it. Like, yeah. white people hold Negroes down. Mm -hmm. White supremacy, the way it exists in this country today, is white people empower and subsidize ignorant stuff in the black community. Yeah, and they just let us destroy ourselves. Yeah, they ex they expose ignorance. Yeah, it's well, up to the Negro to be the ignorant one. Well, they you can only put that. You can only put the onus, the well, prowess on that Negro for yeah. being ignorant. Yeah, it's like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like the culture, this detrimental culture you find within the black community. It's always been there since Africa. It's it's always been that white man exploiting the fools in Africa, <laughs> and now the white man is exploiting the fools here in America. That's what it is. It's just white people exploiting stupid people. Yeah, and this white guy in this video I'm about to show, he exposes that. Yeah. Yeah. See, I had a lot of comments when I said that shit about Jay-Z <laughs> and hip-hop all together, but it's true. You name one goddamn good thing that's come out of the hip-hop <laughs> culture, I'll wait. Is it the enormous amount of uh, people that have gone to prison trying to live that bullshit lifestyle y'all rap about? <laughs> How many people gone to prison? How many people been murdered? How many people in the streets trying to live that fucking bullshit lifestyle y'all brag about and talk about like it's something special, like it's so cool to go to fucking prison? What has the hip-hop culture done for the culture in general? It ain't done nothing for it. it ain't done a goddamn thing. It's made a lot of people dead. How many rappers... Every year, catch a bullet, living that fucking lifestyle. Man, ain't nobody impressed with that shit. Matter of fact, most people be glad when the hip-hop gangster rap culture is gone. They will be happy. And the way y'all are killing each other, it won't take long at all. Most of y'all to be in prison. Most of you going to go to prison. Drug dealing, gang banging, murders for hire. There is not one redeeming quality that comes out of gangster rap. It is a destructive force that has taught you to disrespect women, disrespect yourselves. There ain't a goddamn good thing that's come out of that f rap game. There ain't nothing good that's come out of it. Just a lot of murdering, a lot of drug dealing, a lot of lives ruined, a lot of the inner city destroyed. And you know what? It was by design. You had a bunch of people that looked like me saying, man, how are we going to sell this to make millions? Yeah, the, the real, true white supremacy, they don't point it out, you know? They don't point out the, what, why... Um, who, who does uh, the music? Uh, Planned Parenthood was in a majority in black and brown uh, yeah, like, communities. Um, what did Kanye say? I, I don't like, like, really... Um, well, Kanye, uh, what is it? He said them Jews. Jews are not... Well, some Jews are white. They look white. They look white to me. They white enough for black people. <laughs> but it's like, uh, like, I'm not saying it's their fault. I'm not trying to say that. But they empower these type of uh, rap acts. Yeah. They fund them. Yeah. And they empower they them. They glorify them. And, and they give them, and then they release this on black people, and it becomes their culture. Yeah. Yeah. You look at every Negro, American Negro. Look how he dresses. Ninety nine point nine percent. The sagging of the pants started in prison. No, I'm talking about the the way they they talk, the way they walk. No, I'm talking about the sagging pants. Yeah, yeah. It's I yeah, know, but who's 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 exploiting it now? Yeah, who's, I, who's dressing that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. You see what I'm saying? I mean, this actual, I believe in white supremacy, but not how the liberals are spinning it. Yeah. You know? I do believe in it. Like, it's like. But the true culture behind white supremacy is still people that lean to left. A majority of them. Because of these people that's, that uh, empower these people, they all are Democrats. They all vote for the left. Every last one of them.
Yeah, what I'm saying is like this, just the music he's referencing, you don't see a, no other demographic with this type of music. Yeah. Why is that? Black people are so talented, they're the only ones that can do it. <laughs> no, they're gatekeepers to keep a bunch of white artists um, just from coming out with this. It's like it's only left for black people. Yeah. Because there are people that don't like black people for whatever reason. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they let black people do it. And it, like you said, it's so destructive. Yeah. And it's built this, it's like um, a turnkey system in the black community. Mm -hmm. It's like, he says they're going to get all kid off. No, they ain't. These people having kids. They got sexy red preaching all this ghetto, this, this, this ghetto music on women now. Yeah. These women going to have kids. Dudes just going to bust their nuts, leave. I'm saying birthday I mean, parties, Keith, with kids, and they playing this movie. Two, three-year-olds. Yeah, this would never die out. Yeah. Never Not die. when you are uh, reproducing at the rate of roaches. Man, I'm having Biden brain right now. I'm trying to think of his name. The country music singer. He came out, uh, tried this in a small town. Damn, why can't I remember his name? Jason Aldean. Yeah. Dude's a patriot. You can't remember his I name. Know, I know. Oh, no. You know what it is? I'm, uh, I got brain fog going. I'm doing too much studying. I'm doing too much. Uh, um, well, say what you're going to say. Yeah, look, he came out with that song, right? That song was harmless, right? Right in a small They gave him, they was pulling his, they pulled his music video. Then he was racist. He was trying to say it was racist. He was trying to pull his music from Spotify. And then you got all these sorry ass, wretched oh, ass. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Negroes, look what they doing. And they're quiet. You can hear a pin drop. Yeah, this music, them. this music's been monetized everywhere. Yeah, nobody says anything. But they want to go after Jason Aldean for his, that was, that is hypocrisy. It is crazy. Yeah, but I guess that's why we Uncle Tom's, man. Yeah. I don't believe in... I know we, white supremacy. No, I think he's, I think it's just liberal. Supremacy. It's more diabolical than that now. Yeah, it's, it's not the more. man walk around in sheets yeah. riding horses. Let's get them nigga <laughs> <laughs> with the crosses and stuff. No, yeah. it's more diabolical than that. They doing reverse psychology. I think they, it, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they got this music yeah. that's only found in the black community. Yeah, but why though, kid? And they letting it and huh? But why? Why you think that? The way it is. Why you think it's what? It's, it serves as propaganda. Yeah. And then it like, let me do some talking. And it, it, inf it infiltrates, this mindset infiltrates the black community. Conditions them. Then mm -hmm. all the racist people, they can sit back and watch. Look at them. Look at, look at them. We ain't even got to do nothing. No I more. don't think they're racist, though. I think it's a bunch of liberals. Planting this culture in black com community to have them think and behave a certain way. That too. Because that... If the way black people think, the way they behave, their music, their movies, if they keep them thinking this way, behaving like this, they're going to think a certain way. They're going to vote a certain way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's white supremacy. I think it's liberal supremacy. I think it's a bunch of liberals spinning things for their own agenda and for their own narrative. They can make that money, keep the black people right there where they yeah. need to be. Yeah. Keep that power in, intact. I think white supremacy is dead. Yeah, the, the, the white, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this country's not systemically racist. Hell no. Don't it's, get me wrong. That's the case. How did Obama win two terms? Yeah, with the name Barack Hussein Obama. What, what, if I was a white supremacist, man, I would I would get grandma and everybody. We going, we going to, we going to vote he won this the, way. He won the popular vote and electoral college. Yeah. If this country was systemically racist, how could that be? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we got a new giveaway going. Give away a Ford F-250. 10,000 in cash, the end of the win. Go to officialhawkstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you automatically in the win. Yeah.